Now, one of the um, most striking things of this window has been the length of time that Chelsea have been signing their players on contracts for. Now, we guess it's to avoid financial fair play, but that's going to change, I gather, Carvey. Yeah, there's a very good story this evening in The Times by their chief sports reporter, Martin Ziegler. Uh, and he reports that UEFA are going to close this loophole. So what's been happening is Chelsea have been signing players like Mudrik. Uh, I think they gave him an eight and a half year contract. Baddy Shield, seven and a half year contract. Fafana, seven year contract. And this has been raising eyebrows in football. Because people have been saying, why are you giving these players such long contracts? Especially because FIFA's rules state that the uh, longest term of a contract can only be five years. Now, a lot of people have been saying the reason Chelsea have been doing this is to try and get round financial fair play rules. To spread out the cost of a contract for as long as possible. So if you spend £80 million, say, on Mudrik and you sign him for eight and a half years, you can spread that out over eight years. So in your accounts, uh, the cost is £10 million uh, a year. Uh, now, UEFA have looked at this and according to Martin Ziegler, some concerns have been raised by other clubs uh, who have mentioned this to UEFA and UEFA are planning on closing this loophole uh, for accounting purposes. So when you uh, file your accounts with them to prove that you're complying with their uh, financial fair play rules which are changing uh, this year anyway but UEFA are going to close that loophole so the maximum uh, contract length is five years again. A lot of people have been asking as well if FIFA say the maximum is five years how come Chelsea are signing these players to eight seven year contracts and I think the, the way they're getting around that is they're five year contracts but with the option that Chelsea has uh, to extend them by extra years and obviously they're going to take up those options but it is uh, something that Chelsea have been doing which they won't be able to do next summer. Does that mean they're going to get busy in the transfer market now then to, to, to I mean, keep doing it until they can't anymore? That's a good question because uh, until UEFA change the rules you would think for the next week or so that the window is open Chelsea could go out and activate, for instance, Enzo Fernandez's release clause at uh, Benfica, bring him in and put him on an eight-year contract as well. So maybe that will enter into their thinking as well. But it is something these new American owners have spotted uh, that they can do, and it's something that they have been doing, but in the future they won't be able to. Okay, interesting.